Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we are going to be talking about how to create a switch statement inside of JavaScript. It's very simple, very fun, but first you need to check out our sponsor, DevMountain. For those of you who don't know, DevMountain offers courses in web development, software testing, and design. So they have a career focused curriculum, meaning that their primary goal is to give you what you need to succeed in the industry. They have housing at no additional cost, so you can go to one of these classes in person, take them, and then hopefully get a job in the industry, which they're obviously gonna help you do. They have lots of good locations. Go to their website and see where it's available, but if for some reason you can't do an in-person class, they do also have online classes. So check them out, link in the description. Now let's get back to creating switch statements. So what exactly does a switch statement look like? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask a person for their name and we're going to give a, a console output that's different depending on what they type in. So first what, what we need to do is we need to get that name. So I'm going to say let name and then we'll just get it from a prompt here. We can ask them what is your name? Now what we do for a switch statement is we put the variable name inside of parentheses, such as name, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do different things depending on what the value of name is. So for example, we can have the case where the name is Caleb, and then you put a colon. Now here is where you put the code for this case. What exactly you want to happen? Now you want to end this with a break statement. And this basically prevents fall through, which we're gonna talk about that in just a second. So the actual code goes between the case label and the break statement. So we can just do an output, let's say console log. And we'll just say welcome, you know, because obviously I'm gonna be welcomed. <laughs> All right, now let's do another case. So let's say the case is your name is Claire, which is a bad thing. Then what we need to do is we need to console log, console log and say something like, get out of here. Okay, and then we need to have another break. And then maybe we want to do a catch all case where if your name's not Caleb or Claire and just anybody besides these two people, then we'll have a case for that. And that's known as the default case and looks like that. I guess these people can be welcome too. Awesome. So this is a way we could implement gating for our application, but maybe not the most practical example, but it'll definitely show how the switch statement works. So let's give this a try and see what happens. So what we do is we put our name in here, Caleb, and when we run this, we get a welcome as a console log here. And then if we put the name Claire, you can see we say we get get out of here. And then if we put anything else, we get I guess you're welcome. Now to talk a little bit about this break statement here, what this does is it prevents fall through. So if we get rid of this, what's gonna happen is it's going to execute this line and then it's going to automatically go down and execute this line, even though that doesn't really make sense. So to show that, let me do a refresh. We'll put the name Caleb. You can see we get welcome and then we get get out of here. So that break is important to keep because it, it prevents that issue there. Now the break on the default, you could get rid of that if you want. So even if I do a refresh here, you're not gonna get any errors. It's gonna work just fine. But as a general rule of thumb, I like to keep that there. One, because for other programming languages, it's required. And two, because if we were to rearrange the order of these cases, like let's say 99% of the time, it's just going to be the default case. So we might wanna put that up top. And if we happen to not have that break in there and we forget to add it back in, what could happen is that we move that default to the top and then we get fall through. So if we do a refresh now and click OK, we get that first message saying, I guess you're welcome. And then the second one happens, which says welcome. So we want to avoid fall through in all cases. So just as a best practice, I decide to leave that break in there. It's up to you what you want to do. And in general, I like to keep the default at the bottom as I think is kind of standard anyways. So that's what I would recommend. Now there's one more thing, and that is if you want something to happen for numerous cases, what you can do is you can actually get rid of all the code between the cases. So we just have case Caleb, colon, case Claire, colon. And then when we do a refresh, if we put Caleb, we get the get out of here. And if we put Claire, we get get out of here. 
So that's the only circumstance in which you wouldn't want to put a break between. You just want to have them one right after the other. And then this code block here is going to execute for both of these. So that is an introduction on the switch statement. Fairly simple. It's usually ideal for very few options. You know, if you have a menu and you can select one through five, or if you have very few options on the guessing of some code or password or whatever, then a switch statement might be useful for you. Now, if you want to get into logical operators and comparisons and all of that stuff, then I'd highly recommend just sticking with the if statement. There's nothing you can't do with the if statement that you can do with the switch. The if statement can do everything the switch can do, so if it's just mental clarity, just don't even worry about ever using the switch statement. <laughs> but you will likely run into it in code, so you definitely want to know how to use it. That's all, I got, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Be sure to check out the next one. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I appreciate you guys coming to stop by and watch my videos. Peace out.